Hello everyone and welcome to the new video. Today I wanted to share a couple of DIYs that I have done over past few days. These are simple ones and where I have repurposed some of the old decor pieces that I don't like it anymore and don't want to throw them as well. So I just wanted to fuel some new life into them. Last year sometime I bought this planter stand from Amazon and they worked perfectly. The reason for buying them was to give my plants some sunshine which comes only from one side of the room. But over the period they have kind of chipped and they were just kind of making the space look cluttered. Also I wanted to decorate the corner in a different way. Was looking for a tall corner shelf. So here is what I came up with. I added some strong hot glue on tip of these shelves and stacked them on top of each other. They were pretty strong and was no way going to topple. This came out to be such an easy DIY. For now I am leaving it just like that but honestly I have a bad itch to paint this. Also. I will come up with some idea to repurpose these plates. For now I am going to invert them because the nice side looks pretty decent to me. Few weeks back I painted this artwork and shared on my community post with you all. But I didn't get a chance to put it anywhere around the house. For this I wanted a frame that works in complement with the colors that I have used and I only have these black frames. I wanted to repurpose these black frames into some woodsy color and here was my DIY. I am using these wooden peel and stick wallpaper that was a leftover from an old project. You don't need too much for this. Measure it and cut it to size and then stick it on the frame. Now one tip that I would like to give is take time to smooth out the surface and make sure that the surface is absolutely clean. And the third tip would be to apply a little bit of PVA glue on the surface which you will see me using in later half of the video. The only catch here is making it look really neat and almost like a market bought frame is take time to smooth out the surface, nothing else. It's just one of those DIYs which looks really easy but the patience is the key here to achieving that perfect look. To get a perfect mitered corner, just slide the scalpel knife diagonally on the wallpaper. Just make sure that you cut only the top wallpaper and not the bottom one. The trick to use scalpel knife neatly for every cut is to take it as close to the surface and keep turning the frame to get a horizontal surface to cut straight lines. Adding cello tape on the corners of the frame is always a great idea to hold the artwork or the photo in place but also add a thin strip of cello tape 
on the glass frame and the mat together like so this will help you to just put the frame properly and this will make sure that nothing moves here or there I have way too many of these ceramic planters. They used to look really okay when I had a balcony, but inside the house they do not serve any good purpose honestly speaking. So I just wanted to try my hands with a new DIY. I have been seeing these beaded vases or planters all across the stores. So using some air dry clay, some acrylic paint, tissue paper and any PVA glue you can recreate this planter it was a super easy one and i'm sure you will be enjoying this planter Using air dry clay just make small little beads, they do not have to be exactly same, just similar sizes and shapes and thereafter we will take some jute twine and start wrapping it around the planter pot. I am using hot glue but you can also use any strong adhesive glue. My twine was not very thick so I had to go at least 3 rounds in each layer to get the desired uh, shape as I wanted. Now instead of twine you can also do this exactly same process with air dry clay that would also look really nice. Once you are happy with the way the jute vines are attached to the planter, we will start attaching these beads in a very organic fashion or you can choose a defined pattern as per your wish. Now using a mixture of PVA glue, water and acrylic paint in which you want to paint the planter. Now earlier I wanted it all stuck white, absolutely pure white but later I felt that it lacked a uh, texture. So you would see me painting in a very different color and this is how it started looking like and it looked really nice. I really love the texture that it has but later on I wanted a light terracotta like look using normal dabbing technique with some brush then with some sponge and also using some toothbrush to give that spray like look I tried all different types of techniques and I really enjoyed doing this DIY and I was so happy with the results though I would like to confess that I am not so happy with the color I might change it to some nice grey or maybe a grange color what is your thought? which one was your most favorite DIY among all these three? do let me know and also if you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoyed this video then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I post weekly on this channel and I'll see you in my next video. Until next time, bye bye.